Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Over the weekend, I unfortunately didn't put out any content. Now, why is that? Well, it's very simple. I was in full on gamer hibernation and what was I doing? I was building a shader cache from Breath of the Wild update version 1.3.3. You can grab it right now, link in the description. Now, let me talk about the methodology just a little bit and secondly, why I even did this. So some of you have noticed that performance on version 1.3.3 has been a bit strange. Now there's a few theories going around. One is that the shaders were renamed causing them to rebuild and then other people say that there are additional shaders. Whatever the reason, the solution seemed clear to me. I needed to delete my pre-compiled and transferable Breath of the Wild shader and start brand new fresh. Now I've been monged out for two days solidly playing Breath of the Wild so I can build a shader cache for you people out there so I really hope you appreciate it because the wifey gave me some major shit for just doing this. Now I'm extremely confident that this is the shader cache you're going to want to use because I built this from the ground up from the very beginning of the game. Now what you're going to want to do is delete your pre-compiled and transferable shaders for Breath of the Wild. You may also want to clear your Nvidia GL cache. After that pick up my shader in the description and place it in your transferable folder and load the game. Remember to back up your transferable shader if you're confident that it's a good one and also remember the first compilation of a brand new shader is very very slow. This shader was built using Simu 1.11.0c, Breath of the Wild version 1.3.3 with DLC 2.1. As a side note, the Nvidia driver was 388.31 and I was using my brand new GTX 1050 Ti and my performance has never been better. In terms of the new graphics card, we'll talk about that in the future. If you're curious about the Simu settings I played on, basically everything in Experimental was off, the timer was Simu default and I had a low buffer cache accuracy. I also approached Exap to ask if there was a specific way to build the most accurate shader and he said no, none of the settings have any impact on the shader itself. If you're curious about general consensus recommended settings, I can tell you that in Options Experimental you should turn GX2 Draw Done on and in Debug Custom Timer use QPC. There is a confession to be made here, the shader cache count is 7644 which I believe isn't quite 100% but I'm fairly confident that it's very very close. Now I went to unbelievably extreme lengths to build this in an expedited fashion for you people out there as quickly as I, I could finding as many different workarounds as I could for one person. If you don't know the shaders are the effects in the game. And there are many different effects that are loaded into memory. This is often why you saw extreme dips or zero FPS. It's because something brand new was being loaded to memory. The second time, it will not stutter. Before I bore you to death with how I went about tackling this nearly impossible task in such a short amount of time, I need something from you people out there. I need you to download my cache and go to the most obscure locations and do the most obscure activities. If your frame rate drops to zero or has a significant drop, please leave a comment or even a screenshot and tell me about it. What I will then do is take your information and then go to that exact location and do that exact activity and get this to the tipping point of 100% as a perfect 1.3.3 shader. But at this point I am so unbelievably burnt out and let me explain exactly what I did to try and basically do everything in the world in two days which is just insane to even think about. I hope you're ready for a bit of a random run. Uh, I'm gonna be jumping around so try and stick with me on this one. Starting from zero I had to logically think about every unique possible shader that might be out there based on action, activity, reaction, daytime, nighttime, weather cycles. So initially it's already a bit too much to uh, comprehend but I think I did my absolute best with this one. This is how I approached building the shader cache. I started with my own save. The first thing I did as part of the building process was I teleported to every main tower. Then I teleported to every main location. Then I teleported to every shrine I could think of, each time basically doing a 360 of the environment. Following that, I had to tackle day-night cycles as well as changes in weather. Then I had to try and find a fight with every type of enemy and every variant of that enemy in every difficulty, including hard mode, 
which is well, that was a completely separate situation of course the initial focus was to travel as much of the world as possible building up as much of a cache as I could. Of course the main focus is effects so you have to think about every activity that creates an effect. So that could be a splash of water, cutting down a tree, breaking a tree, starting a fire, exploding a bomb, using the different runes. Um, an enemy may have a very specific attack to them. Th the list goes on and on and on and I did my absolute best to try and cover as many as I could literally think of. Once I had fully exhausted my own save, I got my hands on a 100% completed save. So if you don't know, the majority of the game percentage completion is based on Koroks, and of course there are 900 Koroks. Uh, who wants to do that? Now when it comes to the actual uh, Korok effect or animation, there's very they're, they're very limited, so maybe there's one or two variants from the Koroks, and then you also have Hestu and his little uh, dance. So you don't really need to get all 900 because there's not 900 unique shaders in that case. Anyway, the point is, I needed to go to locations which I knew I didn't have in my own personal save, such as uh, Tarrytown. So I'm trying to think, okay, which, you c which locations did I not have in my own save which I know exist in the world? So it's all about process of elimination. Go here, go there, do this, do that, at night, in the day, with different weather conditions. Like So some of these things probably weren't even needed but I was just doing my absolute best so it would be go around every room every door every item and of course once the shader is committed to memory there are many many duplicates in terms of objects and buildings and things like that so you don't need to see the same building in another place because it's already in memory like I say excuse me if I get a bit messy here I shouldn't really mix world elements with effects because they're two different things Anyway, once I'd exhausted my world save and the 100% world save, I then thought, okay, what's missing from both of them? And of course, with those two types of saves, you're missing the main quest. So, then I went on and I started a brand new save with hard mode always in the back of my mind. But of course, we also have to remember DLC. And what comes with the DLC? The Master Trials. So, I then went and completed all of the Master Trials to eliminate any potential shaders that exist in there. Y unique shaders, of course. We're looking specifically for unique shaders. And guess what? There are quite a few in the main quest. So, I started a brand new game. I went through the four main shrines uh, at the beginning, got the glider, and then I went on and I completed every <laughs> divine beast. Now some of this got a little bit silly because I was spending hours and hours and hours for like sometimes the smallest shader. For example, the fish prince Sidon, even his little ting in his tooth is an additional shader. So, once I did the first Divine Beast, I realised that uh, my frame rate was dropping at key moments and then I thought, oh no, I, I have to do all of the Divine Beasts. So, I did all of the Divine Beasts and then I killed the final boss, you know, wink wink. Um, I'm trying not to <laughs> ruin too much here, but if you're listening this far, then, you know, well, bad luck. So once you exhaust one option and another option and another option, you have to try and think even deeper. For example, even the breaking of a clay pot has a certain animation. So then I moved on to enemy attacks. Every enemy I encountered, I just let them hit me, hit me and hit me. So what did I do in this scenario? I used the Libra VR memory editor and I locked stamina and I locked health. Therefore, I could achieve a lot more in a much quicker time without dying and without running out of stamina. So I would stand there and let an enemy go through its very, uh, well, its variety of attacks just to see if there was any unique shaders in there. And I did this with every enemy. And once I couldn't find certain enemies, like the Igneo Rock, um, I forget the name, but basically I would use the Libra VR memory editor to spawn as, mem as many um enemies as I could and I would just stand there and let them go through their variety of attacks but like I say the the master trials is a, a good place to see a, a wide variety of um, enemies but don't forget when we talk about shaders and effects you have to consider everything from dust to smoke to explosions to the elemental effects within your weapons and the world so if you have a if you have fire 
uh, fire arrows, explosive arrows, um, ice arrows. You have the same with enemies, fire enemies, ice enemies. So you also have the variants of those as well. So um, as you can tell by the, the ranty style of this, I've gone a little bit insane uh, building this this cache because I quickly realised that why have I why why have I started on this ridiculously impossible journey? And this is why I need you people to tip me over the edge because I'm seriously, I am beyond burnt out in trying to tackle every individual element in the game in basically uh, two days, potentially at the cost of my marriage at this point, I think. Um, but I really need your help. So as I said earlier, please go to each unique um, location and do specific unique activities that you know of, which are... I potentially will have missed. Tell me about it. Um, I'll go do that because I, I've literally done them just about everything I can think of. And then what I will do is the shader in the description. I will constantly update until there's basically nothing left. Um, if we talk about, if we go back a little bit, so once again, try and stick with me. If we go back a little bit, um, when I was using the 100% 100 uh, save, I was even doing things like looking at every single picture and every single object, um, just throwing it on the ground just to see if anything would happen. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, people. I think you get the idea of the struggle. If you appreciate the commitment, leave a like. If you're interested in the content that I produce, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for the time. Thank you for sticking with me through this uh, incoherent babble. Um, I will see you very soon in the next video. I've got some awesome content coming up. Like I say, the whole weekend was just insane because I was just dedicated to this uh, cache and it took hours and hours and hours. Um, but I did my best to expedite the process. So once again, I appreciate the support. Download the cache. See if you can add anything to it. Leave a comment. And I'll see you very soon.